Hello YouTube land, my name is Castle Kanan and today I'm going to be showcasing you a build for Path of Exile Blight. This is the Arakali Fang build, it with my own little twist. So this is the Chaos variant, uh, there are a couple of those builds already on the forum, sure, whatever. It's using Feminist's Shroud for the aspect of the spider. It is utilizing Carnage Chieftain, Host Chieftain, and Diabolus, Diabolus for the Enfeeble. I'm also able to curse with temp or Temporal Chains. For the offensive, I have Temporal Chains and Despair for the extra damage. I will probably change out Temporal Chains for Punishment or something else, uh, just to give my spiders more of a chance. Now for those that don't know how to summon spiders, it's easy. You basically just do a Desecrate, and I have a dedicated Desecrate outside of my Cyclone. And we have this jar, the Rithing Jar. It drops worms on the ground, which our minions will attempt to kill. So what you have to do is you have to time it just right, and you have 20 spiders. Not 12, not you know 14. In most cases, it is uh, 20. So the good thing about the Cyclone uh, is that because Spirit Offering is in, we regain a lot of shield. About 3,000 per second if we literally just hold it down on top of our regular uh, life regen. This build in all with all boxes checked off does like 10 million shaper dps however as you know not everything can go along as planned so effective dps of what you'd expect is probably around five six million which you know it's fine for the path of building warriors 10 million enjoy this build does a decent amount of damage and has a very decent amount of sustain via well enfeeble so it's harder to actually get hit on top of the fact that we cyclone around and basically feel like a pretty big tank most of the time. With that said, um, this build is also very fast, like if you want to do this whole entire map within a matter of minute, you probably could. I like to actually pick up a lot of things though, like even like alterations I still pick up. So here's the downside, these spiders only last for about a minute 30. Uh, what you'd want to do then is really quickly just do your summons again. Need more mana. There we go. And off you go. So that time I summoned 18, but I think one of my chieftains accidentally like smacked one of the worms. Alternatively, what you could do is you could actually just kill something with your bane, and you'll be able to actually just summon the spiders that way. So overall, this is a pretty fun build. Uh, Uber Elder Deathless, Shaper Deathless. Tanky, and... Yeah, not much more I could say about that. So I can quickly show you the path of building tree. I will leave the paste bin down below. Again, this is a slightly different variant than what you'd actually be expecting to see from the forums. So just keep that in mind. Um, as I'm only level 93 right now, a uh, few of the things that I'm probably going to focus on next is just finishing off this life node at 94. Um, and then potentially finishing off that. And then swapping these two plus that for the life nodes here. This build is pretty much done. Uh, it's mostly just min-maxing, to be completely honest. Like, not only min-maxing, but I have a lot of extra re or resistances. I can literally just, like, remove that belt, and I'm still fully maxed. So you could have whatever you want in there, or you can just change around everything here, and it'd be great. Uh, I s enchanted with Ravenous Horde. You could obviously get a decent, like, helmet enchant, but... Good luck with that. And yeah, Curse with Trample Chains I already mentioned. We use the Scourge so we can sometimes create Spectral Wolves on kill, which is pretty cool. Uh, in my Hot Swap, I have just the Portal, which I can cast. Using a Hot Swap or the Weapon Swap actually forces your spiders to die. I think I can quickly show you that. So if you don't want to wait like the extra 10 seconds, what you can do... Let me just... Oh, hey. Spiders, hello. There we go. They went behind me, but I wasn't sure which way they were facing. So anyways, if you want to do the weapon swap, it'll actually pretty much kill off all your spiders. And then you can go back and do it again. So, there it is. Overall, this is a pretty strong build. I have not had an instance where something wouldn't, like, die. Things are fast. This is fast. And the best part is, the minions are very aggressive, so they can handle Uber Elder quite well. Efficiently, if I should say, because there's not a time when they're all confused and going after the wrong thing. It's if 
Elder or Shaper can get damaged, the chances are all your 20 spiders are on them. And that is great. It, it, it This is probably, again, one of my easier Uber Elder kill builds. And it, it's fun. It's fast. Uh, and it lets me actually showcase the new uh, MTX that I got from that uh, mystery box. So, anyway, overall, this is a pretty fun build. That's all I gotta really say about it. That and you get to utilize Cyclone in a very stupid way. Um, you regain 3,000, maybe up towards 3.5 to 4,000 life a second. Because this casts just below three times a second. So, yeah. It is pretty powerful. Anyways, in comparison to the zombie build, or like uh, the zombie Baron Mancer, Automancer type build type stuff, this falls faster as a mapper. Bossing damage, I would believe that it's easier to, or well, it's safer to use the Baron Mancer. Admittedly. Uh, however, this is still probably one of my favorite builds that I've created so far. And I'm nowhere near done. Uh, like, I can obviously craft minion stuff everywhere. So, it's just min-maxing from here on out, but I don't really feel the need to. This is under 5x in total. Minus the gloves, and you don't necessarily need that, to be 100% honest. Uh, because it's kind of overkill. You could just bane them. I just like keeping my cyclone up and running through things in order to temporal change them. You don't have to do that, you can just bane and then stay behind and just temporal change. So this is a luxury item. You don't need it. I don't really feel like I need it, but I'm like an aggressive type of person who likes to kind of get in there. So it just automatically temporal changes everything, and that's great. Beyond that, I don't really have much else to say. This is definitely under 5x minus the gloves. The gloves were 2x by themselves. So if you add that, just add 2x onto your bill. This isn't even 6-linked, it doesn't need to be 6-linked, in fact, it would be bad if it was 6-linked, because, uh, yeah, you want your Spirit Offering Desecrate here, and you want Desecrate with a Spell Cascade somewhere else, and this is just the easy spot for me to fit it on. And then you want... yeah, that's it, actually. You want your buffs. If you wanted to, you can go Necromantic Diadem, but then what you'd want to do is unlink your haste, because that would work in that helmet and then you'd be able to benefit from the haste. But I found that I didn't necessarily care about it because, I mean, this, like, Whirling Blades is very fast. So I kind of just stuck it like this. Alpha Howl was just the easier way to go for me. Because with the Necromantic Deedom, this doesn't really work very well with the Cyclone mechanic because all of your energy shield goes onto your mana because it's Eldritch Battery. But at that point, if you decide to go that route, you could just pick up Mom and, or Mind Over Matter, and that makes it easier. However, at that point, this becomes less effective, so just keep that in mind. There's also a shock variant to the spiders, which also works really well. However, I decided to stick with just the tried and true. So there you have it. That's about it out of me. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a like on the video, and don't forget the most important part, have fun.